Hi, I'm Curtis Winters. This is my music theory for beginners video series. Music can be very complicated because of all the notes, the rhythms, and all the other various theory that's required. In this video, you'll learn to read treble clef notes as well as alto and bass clef notes. I'm gonna help you learn how to quickly figure out what the notes are on those lines and spaces of the staff. So whether you're trying to learn how to play piano or trumpet or violin or clarinet or any other instrument in the band or orchestra, this video will help you figure out how to read the music. And it might even be somewhat entertaining. After all, music is supposed to be fun. At the end of this video, I'll tell you a little bit about my favorite music theory app. It's the most awesome, best app out there for learning all the music theory. It's called Ningenious Music Ultimate. Let's talk about the note names we use in music. We only use seven letters of the alphabet, A through G. So it goes like this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And once we get to G, we start over again with A. And then we go B and so forth, okay? So it's pretty easy. Now going downward, you gotta learn to do the alphabet backward. G, F, E, D, C, B, A. And what's after A as we go down? G again, F, and so on, down, okay? It's really that simple. Now the musical staff has five lines and four spaces like this, okay? So we got one, two, three, four, five of those lines, and we have four spaces in between. And we place the notes on the lines and spaces like this. A, B, line, space, line, Space. What comes after G again? Yep, A, okay, B, okay. It just goes like that up the lines and spaces, except the bottom line is not A. It's really disappointing. It's not A on any clef. It's not A on treble, bass, or alto clef. So, what is the bottom line? Well, it depends what clef you're in. The treble clef instruments are clarinet, flute, French horn, guitar, mallet percussion, oboe, piano, recorder, saxophone, trumpet, violin, and voice, soprano, alto. So the top clef usually is treble clef, like this. And the treble clef tells you where G is. G is on the second line. Okay, see how it's kind of a fancy, swirly sort of a G, and it swirls around that line right there? Daddy, daddy, I wrote the alphabet. So that's your G right there, okay? That makes your bottom line an E. So it goes E, F, G. There's our G, and then we go A, B and so on, up like that, okay? Now, the, the lower clef that most people use is the bass clef. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. The bass clef instruments are baritone, bass, bassoon, cello, euphonium, piano, trombone, and tuba. And voice, tenor, bass. And the bass clef shows you where F is. So the F is right here between those two dots. See how it's like a fancy F sort of right there? Okay, it's like a fancy F, except these were turned into dots, okay? So this is an F right there, okay? So if we go up and down, we figure out that the bottom line on bass clef is A, G. A, B, C, D, E. There's our F right there on the, on the fourth line up. Okay, and then we have G, the top line is A, okay? So in between bass clef and treble clef, we have a lesser known clef that's only used by the viola instrument and a few others uh, that sometimes play this clef, and it's called alto clef. The five lines of the alto clef then are... The alto clef instruments are viola, and occasionally advanced cello, trombone, and others. Now the alto clef shows you where a C is, okay? So the C, is in the middle. It doesn't look like a C, but the C is in the middle. So this is a C right here on the alto clef. All right, so if we know that that's a C, then we can go down the alphabet and we find out that down here is an F. G, A, B, there's our C on that middle line right there, okay, and so forth. Now this C happens to be the middle C. The middle C is one ledger line, one extra little line right there, above the bass clef, that's a C. And it's also one ledger line below the treble clef. There's a C right there, okay? So you'll see that really this, these five lines could be moved up a little bit 
And these C, this C, and this C are the same note. It's a middle C on a piano. Let me just review this one more time. Now the treble clef then, okay? It, the bottom line of the treble clef is an E, okay? The alto clef, the bottom line of that one is an F, and then the bass clef, the bottom line of that is a G. Now there's a simple way to quickly come up with the lines of each clef. Treble clef, if we just wanna think about the lines of the staff, they are E, G, B, D, and F, okay? And we can say this, every good boy does fine. We can say that phrase, that catchphrase to remember quickly uh, the notes on the treble clef. Some people say, every good boy deserves fudge. Yep, yep, yep. Some yep. say, Elvis's guitar broke down Friday. Some say, even George Bush drives fast. Okay, a lot of choices. Pick one of those catchphrases to remember the lines on the treble clef, okay? On the alto clef, okay? On the alto clef, the lines are F, A, C, E, G. Those are the lines on that staff, okay? Flying apes can escape gravity. Bass clef, the lines here are great, big dogs fight animals. So on treble clef, if you have a note like this, and say you put it on the third line right that right there, you just have to remember uh, every good boy. That note is a B. It's always a B on treble clef. Okay? If I put it up here, that's an F. Every good boy does fine. That's your F right there, okay? Now if it's between lines, then that's, if it's a space note between lines, then every good boy, what's above B? A, B, C, that note's a C right there. You can get the notes between the lines pretty quickly also just from remembering that one catchphrase. So I'm gonna introduce an app that makes this actually very easy. It's called Ningenious Music Ultimate. <laughs> One of the great things about this app is that it allows up to eight players. Look at all these instruments on here. We've got recorder, alto saxophone, baritone, bass, bassoon, cello, every band and orchestra instrument possible. Oh, there we go, he wants to learn flute. Now when you first start up with this app, it's gonna look like this. The first belt is yellow belt, and then we go on to orange, green, blue, purple, brown, and black belt. There's a total of 35 different levels. And so this first level is called staff and stuff. In each level, you can cycle through the questions it's gonna ask and see the answers. Okay, let's play. All right, so what is that right there? Well, that is the measure. Got it. That is, let's see, which clef is that? Bass clef. It's motivating, the timer's going down here, there's music playing, and so it's highly motivating to get the right answer and to get it quickly and accurately. Ledger lines, there we go. All right, that's the staff. And let's see how I've done here. It's going up, oh, maybe green. Yep, there we go, we got a green star on that level. So you can see now on this level I have a green star and there's four more levels to go before I'm really ready for the belt test. But you don't have to wait to do all these levels. You can go ahead and try the belt test if you think that you're ready for it. Now the belt test is a comprehensive review of all five levels leading up to it. So I'm gonna take this yellow belt test and see how I do here. Oh, there we go, let's see how I do. I've gone through all the questions for the yellow belt test and... Yep, got it. All right, I got the yellow belt. So that's an ingenious music ultimate available on iOS devices and on Android, Chromebook, and Kindle Fire. I hope you've enjoyed learning from this video. Check out some of my other videos and look for more videos in this Music Theory for Beginners video series, including one about rhythm, and one about the accidentals, sharps, flats, naturals, and key signatures. Now remember, music is for everyone. You can do this, you can do this, you can do this, and you can do these too. I like woodwinds. Woodwinds are cool too. <laughs>